In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to normalize data within GraphPad Prism. So what is data normalization? Normalization can convert Y values from different data sets to a common scale. So why would you bother to normalize your data? Well, data normalization is very useful in situations such as dose response curves. This is where the data are commonly normalized so that all curves begin at 0% and then plateau at 100%. For example, if you look at this dose response curve, the dose response that hasn't been normalized, so the Y values do not represent a percentage. Then if you look at this dose response curve, which has had the Y values normalized to a percentage value, you can now see that the response values begin at 0% and end at 100%. So this is just a more suitable way of representing this data. However, note that in the example of normalizing dose response curves, the data does not have to be normalized in order to be analyzed. Prism provides the option to curve fit both the raw and normalized data. So let's go into GraphPad to start some data normalization. For this tutorial, I'm going to use an XY table and I'm going to start with some sample data to follow a tutorial so you can follow along at home. Under pharmacology, I'm going to select dose response X is log brackets dose and then I'm going to click the create button. So I'm going to minimize this note here. So what we have in the X values here, we've got the logarithms of molar concentrations for the agonist. The first row represents basal response with no agonist. So since the log of zero is undefined, the first X value is actually entered as minus 10, which is a very low concentration of agonist. So low, in fact, it is effectively the same as zero. We have two groups of Y values here. We've got group A, which represents no inhibitor, and group B, which represents an inhibitor, which has been added to our experiment. Each of these have been read in triplicate. So the aim of this tutorial is to normalize the data so that the smallest data points are 0% and the largest are 100%. So to normalize data within PRISM, you want to click the Analyze button. Under the Transform Normalize header, you want to find the Normalize option. Click this. Ensure that the Y data sets that you want to include in the normalization are checked and then click the OK button. You will then be presented with the parameters window. So the first option, average the subcolumns and normalize the means. When this is selected, the subcolumns or replicates in each Y column will firstly be averaged and the mean value will be normalized. However, if you select the normalize each subcolumn separately, you can decide to normalize each subcolumn individually as opposed to on average. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to leave the average the subcolumns option ticked. Next is how you want to define 0%. There's a few options here. The first is you can take the smallest mean in each data set. So GraphPad will firstly average each of the subcolumns. Alternatively, you can select the first mean in each data set or the last, whichever is smaller. So when this is selected, you can choose to have 0% defined as the first mean in the data set or the last mean in the data set. So whichever of them two values are actually smaller. And when you click this, you also have the option to remove the results from the page. So instead of having a value of 0%, it will actually get rid of this value altogether. Additionally, you can specify your own Y value, which should be defined as 0%. So you can enter a value in this box here, or you can actually hook a value to a previous analysis or a value from the info sheet by clicking this hook icon here. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to leave the option smallest mean in each data set ticked. The next set of perimeters is regarding the 100% and how that is defined. So similarly to the 0% definitions, you can choose to have the largest mean in each data set. So this would be the largest average value within the data set. Or you can choose to have the last mean in the data set, 
or the first, whichever is larger. And again, you can remove this value from the normalized data set to remove the 100% value. You can again specify your own value by entering the value in this box here, or you can hook in a, to a previous analysis or an info constant. Additionally, you can choose to select the sum of all means in the data set. So this will add up all of the means in the data set and choose this as the 100% value. Or you can choose to have the average of all the means in the data set. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to select the largest mean in each data set as the definition for 100%. In terms of the results, there are two ways you can present the results from the normalization. The results can be presented as fractions or as percentages, which are more commonly selected. So I'm going to leave this option selected. And finally, you can choose to have a new graph of the results created for you, which will create a new XY graph using the normalized data set. So I am going to leave this checked. And don't forget, as always, there is the learn button where you can click on this to go to the GraphPad user guide on the GraphPad website for more information regarding data normalization. So I'm going to use these settings to normalize this data by clicking the OK button. So as always, a new result sheet has been created and this is titled normalize of the data set. And note that the X values, so the log agonist values here, are actually unchanged. So they're just copies from the original sheet. If we go to our original sheet, you can see that they are unchanged values. So the normalization only affects the Y values, not the X values. So as you can see now, these values here represent percentage values. So if we now go to our graphs, we can go to the normalized graph and you can see that the data now begins at zero and this is a percentage and plateaus at 100%. As opposed to the original graph, you can see that the Y values here are just response values which do not represent a percentage value.